Ladies and gentlemen, the figures in all this for Trials and Rouse America. Born it on the next event on this rodeo program, the most dangerous sporting event going on this country today. We're about to show you why. As we go to the bucket shoots, go around number three. Cowboys go riding as we direct your attention now to the bucket shoot game number two. KBOO to lead it off tonight. The rookie of the year, 1992, Bo Williams out of Annabelle, Oklahoma. You may be heard here tonight in the bareback riding competition coming right back down to Bo Riding as Bo number five, Old Henry, of the Wink Rodeo Company, up in Florida, Texas. The Bull has been out 64 times this year, but down 63 Cowboys qualified for it. Bo Williams, the two of them, Cowboy. A rookie bull rider of the year. Placed one time at the finals last year as a rookie. First set to go. Down at KBOO's gig to lead off competition tonight. He is bucked down off of the first two. Has a good one draw coming in here. Here's a cowboy capable of getting something done in this third go around right now. Everything just right to meet his specifications. Keep your eyes on KBOO's gig. Watch Paul Williams, Greg Harrell, and Donnie Smith. Our professional rodeo bull riders here in the room. Thank you to those rodeo clowns and bullfighters. That's what they're here for. They'll get in there, I'll guarantee you. Let's go down to Bucket Shoot, gate number one, down to get and go right now for Tiger Will Banks and Yalpa from Mayo Mayo, Arkansas. He went a third year, and the first goal was 75 points. He bumped down last night. Even on one head, that 75 point marking is good enough for fourth place in the average right now on two, even though he's only ridden one. 44 Bar Rodeo Company Bull, number 17, is the one that he is blue. Coming this go around this evening, Tiger Will Banks. He left the state of Arkansas in second place for the Bull Riding Championship there. He'll be traveling in their finals just in a few days now. Watch him and Bucket Shoot get to go on down to get to go right now. Here's a cowboy to get right. He's going to scoot up in there right now. The Bull's name is old Casper, the friendly ghost. Watch him in gate number one. So Bull Riding guys. Get them warmed up, we're coming to you now. He says, get out of here, guys. Don't forget to get out of here. We've got a bull ride going around here. This cowboy's going to get her done, I'll guarantee you. You bet, all the way up there. You've got Jelsey's on the championship floor. Get say hello to those rodeo clowns and bullfighters. We'll be going down the judging room at 36 on the far side. Coming to the near side, 37, it's almost 73 points. 73 for the cowboy. Championship. John has had a terrible battle so far. Certainly not indicative of this Cowboys of Italy. He has bucked down in the first two go arounds. This evening he has Tikio, Rodeo Company Bull, number four, Little Big Heart. Tikio located in Gravit, Arkansas. That's a bucket shoot gate number two. Out the KBO old gate. These Cowboys ride for eight seconds. They have a simple set of rules to follow. Tight leg that bull, right if you can. Let's go, John. Shame and all, right there. The record on that bull this year, 
He was out 59 times, bumped down 55 Cowboys and qualified four, all for money. I want to move back over to Drysdale's gate. She had a bucket shoe gate number four right now for Jim Nelson. Out of Bristol, Oklahoma. We are next cowboy to work in competition. Out of Drysdale Gates now. Towing service available right here by professional Rubio pickup men. Jim Nelson out of Bristol, Oklahoma. He's bucked down off of two in a row. Has a Grand Rodeo Company goal number four. Out of Centerville, Arkansas, what we call reckless discharge. A very impressive record on this bull. He's been out 56 times, bucked down 53 cowboys, qualified three, all for money. We're back down to Bucket Shoe Gate number four right now at the Drysdale Gate. And we're set to go more right here. We come to the big pit right now. Watch this little bull. He's right. You bet. Has a hand on in there. Watch these bullfighters. They're alongside. They're in there. What a job for those guys on the Ford Arena. I think they all need applause right now. Super job. Super job. Super job. Let's go down the bucket shoot game number five for the Cowboy that will be crowned the rookie of the year in 1993 in the bull riding event. Michael Dye out of Terrell, Texas. He will win it. No one can touch him. He kept in the farmers ranked eight as a freshman. He's won that much money to be a big place. He is 72. And the first go around, he got back to buck down last night. This afternoon, he has bar three of the Grant Rodeo Company out of Centerville, Arkansas, called Blockbuster. Very impressive record. This bull has been out 59 times this year. Bucked down 58 Cowboys, qualified one. Third bucket, June gate number five. A big thank you to Sharks Menwear over at Holdenville as we walk to Oklahoma. They're furnishing the shirts here for the bullfighters in the rodeo. Very colorful group down there, I'll tell you that. You bet! We got a little bit of a Michael, you're in trouble. Now, into that riding hand, brings him out of there. You bet. And this is gentlemen, the superstar of the bullfighters right now as we direct your attention down the bucket shoot gate number three. This cowboy had rolled two in a row. Troop Duke. Great cowboy from Salisaw, Oklahoma. 81 and 81 win both goal rounds, and actually he has the lead for the average with a total of 162 points on two. All the great bull riders of rodeo come to the finals, ranked 11 for the championship. He has a CNN rodeo company bull number 90. Coming to this goal round, here's a guy that could win it all. Well, they had two Cowboys to qualify on two goals in a row on uh, the first two goal rounds. That's out of 16. We're watching some of the rankest bulls in the world go each go around. At the night, that rank ten of bulls will be out when we get ready to crown the champion. I just got to stand by. This Cowboy, following the rules right now, he takes that rapper daddy around his riding hand. You'll notice if you pull that hat down, sit down on that bull, scoot his seat up just as close as possible to the bull rope. He'll bend his arm so the elbow will serve as a shock absorber during the ride. After you're watching this cowboy, and he gets his arm straightened out, look out the next jump up, he'll be looking at the ground. We started to tell you a moment ago the rules are relatively simple. Here this event. Let's go bull right now, right here in the game. Watch this one. We're going to turn it back. We're going to come around. Set up cowboy. You're going to ride him here. Set up troop. Let's make it three in a row. Cowboy, are you in it? You've got a whole turn now, big boy. Get out of there. All right. Three in a row for him. 38 over to four. Time to come on the near side. 35. Mitchell of 73 points. 73. Give a total of 235 points on three. Son, you're going to be hard to catch, I'll guarantee you. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move back down to KDOO's gate, we're down to bucket shoot gate number two. The former runner up for the Bull Riding Championship and ranked ninth on the charts this year, Damon Holmes out of Mount Pleasant, Texas, a guy to work right now. Remember, he's the former runner up for the Bull Riding Championship. He's a previous runner up average here at the finals. 1988, he beat all the Cowboys, he won the average, that kind of tells you something about this Cowboy, we're coming to the big pit right now, down the hall. Pick the other one, you're coming to the floor. That head tilted back out of there, Tony looking, brought him out, no score. Down 
the bucket shoe king number three, State Bank. Now run a test on them. They've got several locations. I'll guarantee you appreciate having State Bank on the program. The Cowboy ranked 15th for the bull riding title. Darrell Bus out of Eden, Arkansas. In the first goal round, he marked 74 points for a fourth. He come back last night to be one of those two Cowboys to qualify with a 73. That was good for second. Has a total of 147 points on home two. Winning the second in the average. J.C. Rodeo Company Bull out of Roxbury, Kansas. Number 86 on this bull. Harold Bus, the Cowboy to work out of Bucket Shoot Gate number three. Carroll has that round one down. He was in here about a moment ago. The seat slides forward. Now his head. Here we come to the big pin. A lot of bull right here. Keep your mind on the middle there. Let's make it three in a row. Is it up, Cowboy? All right. You're going to get it done. And it's Sally. Three in a row for that Cowboy also. You bet. The pressure is on right now. We've got a 39 on the left side to go across the way to the right side. 36 in a total of 75 points, 75. We'll give him a total of 222 points on two, second in the average on three. Right now, second in the average on three head of bulls. Ladies and gentlemen, we move over to Drysdale's game down in Bucket Shoot, game number four right now. We gotta pay tribute to this guy. He has never missed the finals as being a member of the top 15 bull riders of rodeo, David Wesson of Delaware, Oklahoma. He is a three-time bull riding champion. Dominant fours, 85, 86, and 87 champion. 1986, he qualified for the all-around board, and guess what? He won that. The versatility crown in rodeo, the 86 all-around champion. Won the average year of the finals, 85. Had a high score in 85 of 90 points in the bull riding. He marked 72 in the first score around. He bumped down last night as Bar W, rodeo company bull, Jack Ward. Now the power of the home three, the bull. Here we go, moving right now, David Wesson. Right now, watch him. He's going to get him. He's going to ride him right here. You betcha. And it couldn't happen to a nicer guy right now. If you want to put your hands together for him. 38 to the left side of the four side. 37 to the left 75. For the Cowboy. All right. Let's go over to Bucket Shoe Gate number five. It all comes out in the wash. We come down to Bobby's camera. Let's go for the work in competition. We talked about him earlier in the rodeo. 50 92, rank 14, coming in this time. He's bumped down over two in a row. Certainly not indicative of this cowboy's ability. TKO Rodeo Company Bull, F5, the all flying fever. They're down at Fox 53, KOK TV. Here we go with Bobby's camera. Set up, Bobby. Go ahead. You're going to ride this one, Bobby. Set up in there, cowboy. You can roll. Yes, you do. All right. Get out of there, cowboy. All right. Put your hands together for Bobby Scatman while we get the scores for him right now. Across the way with the 39. We come to the near side. Right now to pick up a score. 40 points in the total of 79 points. 79 for the cowboy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move down to Bucket Shoot Gate number two, KB O.O.'s gate right now for Scott Birch, the cowboy to work. He's out of the great sunflower state of Kansas, the city of Newton. Was at the finals last year in sixth place, coming in ranked 12th this time. He won the second in the first goal round with 79 points. Goose egg last night with that 79 point ride on one head coming to this goal round. It was given up for a third in the average. He needs to ride this way. It could be money all the way around, and this cowboy is keeping to get her done. Here we go, right now, all the way out here. Go ahead, cowboy, you're going to ride this one. Be a little careful on those feet. Yes, we do. All right, from Kansas. And again, a nice round of applause for that cowboy, if you would. We got 40 to the left side. We go to the right side right now. 39, the total is 79.79. Ladies and gentlemen, we go over to Bucket Shoot Gate number one. Here's the superstar of rodeo, Clayton Macon, out of Stigler, Oklahoma, two-time all-around champion. He leads for the bull riding championship. He leads for the bareback riding title. He still has the lead for the all-around. As we told you earlier, it could come down to the wire tonight for the all-around championship. Clayton has had a terrible finals in the bull riding. Certainly not indicative of this cowboy's ability, but let me tell you something. You turn it around around today or tomorrow and have you a bull riding, you'll read about this cowboy being in the hunt. He 
as the great rodeo company bull number two, we call Billy the Kid. Quite an impressive record on this bull from Centerville, Arkansas. He's been out 31 times this year. He's bucked down 31 cowboys in competition. But let me tell you something else. The bull grew tough at this rodeo this afternoon. I'll guarantee you. As we pull that rope up right now. This cowboy two-time the all-around champion. 90 and 91. The bull riding champion. 90 and 91. The average 90 and 91. 88 points and 90. Also in 1990, listen to this. This cowboy won the average that year. 336 points on four. And we're going bull ride right now. Get up in our coat and make it. All right, you're going to ride this one. Turn it, turn it, make it, turn it, turn it. You're going to do it. Yeah! All right. We get her done here this afternoon. I'll guarantee you to see what the judges do with this one right now. Pencils are working, we got 40 to the left side, we go to the fourth side for 38, a total of 78 points for the Cowboys, 78. As we move down to bucket sheet game number two, right now I'm going to bring up Benny Wayne Donaldson out of Valley of Oklahoma. He's ranked fifth on the charts on the championship, finished 14th to 92. Throughout the rodeo season, he works two national championship events, Cowboys bull riding as well as bareback riding competition. In third and fourth of the third goal here a year ago. He's had a terrible fight so far. He's bucked down off of two in a row. He'll be riding this afternoon with a severe injury. Has a broken collarbone, but it's not slowing this cowboy down. He's going to get his hand in there and go. That's the way they did. Alex, he makes final preparations. Y'all, we'd like to call your attention to the center of the rodeo arena right now. The two cowboys are mounted horseback in the floor of the arena. They get very little credit at the rodeo, yet they deserve a bunch. They got here for being voted in by the top 15 for their ability there in the field. Our professional rodeo pickup men to the far side, the former all-around champion and champion bull rider, Jimmy Carruthers out of Oxbury, Kansas. To the near side, Randy Franks out of Detroit, Texas. We're going bull ride right now. Watch this cowboy. Anyway, Donaldson some out of value in Oklahoma. He's got it working for the bottom of the ball. Yeah, he goes around. He gets it all on here too, you bet. Once again, the pencils will be working downstairs. The score 39 to the left side, 37 to the far side, the total of 76.76 the score for the Cowboy. I just moved down the bucket shoot gate number three right now. Now, at the state bank. A lot of locations around. I'll tell you what, we appreciate having them. This will bring the number two cowboy from Rodeo for 1992, Terry Alfrey out of Atlanta, Texas. In the big pit right now, runner up for the bull riding championship. Watch this cowboy, he's going to get one road here. I'll bring it to you all right. Oh, could have been stepped on off the hard right there as he cuts out. I'll guarantee you. They're still there, Frank. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Again, yes, he says he's all right. the fourth go around. 37 in the fourth side, near side. 40 points and a total of 77 points. 77 for Terry Alfred. You bet. Let's move quickly. Right over the bucket shoot game number four right now for Randy Maverick out of Sebulb, Oklahoma. Here's the number two cowboy of rodeo in 1993. He will finish in the runner-up position for the bull riding championship. He has bucked down off a of two in a row. And he has Lancaster Bull number seven out of Fairfield, Texas. He's down the Drysdale gate right now. Bucket shoot gate number four for the cowboy, Randy Maverick, who specializes in the bull riding throughout the year. Takes that final wrap and dally right now. That being said, the y'all same scoring procedure. Here at the bull riding is in the horse riding event. Each judge with a possibility of 50 points. Zero to 25 on the cowboy, one to 25 on the animal. They give a the total of both judges books and announcing the scores. Here we come to the big pit right now. So the cowboy, all right, all right, all right. We're going to break out there. You bet you, and around we come. 